Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. Dave Rodriguez here, one of the head traders inside the Alliance community. Quick shout out to everybody watching the video today. As always, definitely appreciate all that support. Make sure you guys mash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you guys get the notifications when we drop new videos, which is just about every single day. Now, all you newbies out there, make sure you guys stay until the end because we'll be revealing our free ebook, the Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide. That has all our best kept secrets and strategies, tons of facts, and some key things you guys will need to know in order to make it in this market. So let's jump right in. Now, as you guys can see, we reached a level of 4,200 after this next little breakout of this level here. Reached a level of 4,200. Pinpoint accuracy on these two daily candles. We have um, a tweezer top. We also have a huge bearish engulfing candle. Uh, that just simply means this candle totally engulfs this candle, which means this candle's inside this candle's color. It totally overtakes it. This is a huge bearish sign, but as you can see, guys, which is very cool, as you use these tools, you can see that as we saw this trend line we talked about yesterday, how these MAs were way down here. We never really touched them. We never tested them like this. So we talked about yesterday, after seeing the new high come in, that we could see a huge retrace in the market. Um, we did see that pinpoint, open to close right here. Um, went through the first MA, pinpoint touched, one second here. Pinpoint touch on the second MA. Okay, and then we open in the same spot, open and close, just like here and it shot off the other direction. Okay, shot up, perfectly touched, and retested this MA here. Now if we look very closely, it looks like we see somewhat of a break of this counter trend right here. This little bullish pattern we've been seeing. So there's a couple of reasons why this candle happened. And we're gonna go over fundamental and technical reasons real quick because this is a huge bearish engulfing. And we are now inside of two MAs being squeezed on the daily chart, which is very strong. So, And we're, we're teetering on, on whether this is going to be a broken trend line or whether we're going to pop back inside and work our way to new highs. So you know, every, every guru kind of has their crazy reason why Bitcoin has fallen. I like to keep it really simple and deal with the information that is currently available to help me make my decisions. So last week, last week prior to the fall in um, the price of Bitcoin and the $11 billion wipeout in the crypto market, CME revealed that it saw a record high daily volume of Bitcoin futures contracts. Um, now on February 19th, CME cleared 18,000 Bitcoin contracts, up nearly twofold from its previously record high, just around 10,000 Bitcoin contracts. And the sudden spike in daily volume of Bitcoin contracts on CME could have triggered the buildup of sell pressure on the asset. Now that could be uh, what led Bitcoin to a large downside movement, which you see right here with this huge bearish engulfing. Um, looks even worse on the weekly and, and, and candle. It looks like a huge um, pin bar candle. Uh, so, you know, the opening and expiration dates of the CME futures, CME Bitcoin futures, that is, um, those contracts can have an impact on the price, as you, if you guys have seen before, if you've ever paid attention to those fundamentals, because the CME facilitates the the, uh, the trading of the um, the largest portion of derivatives contracts in the entire world. So, you know, the CME is the big dog when it comes to the uh, the futures contracts, the derivatives, um, the largest portion in the whole entire world. So. Um, last week, CME saw the highest volume ever, you know, in a single day for Bitcoin's futures contract, like we talked about before, 18,000 contracts. Now, every two-month Bitcoin futures contracts on, on the CME has demonstrated decline in, in Bitcoin price since the launch of the CME Bitcoin futures market in 2017. So this is just following suit. It's doing what it has done in the past. Um, so although some believe that the impact of the CME on the price of Bitcoin is limited, because the contracts is basically, you know, they're settled in cash. So it remains to see how the biggest Bitcoin futures market is going to affect 
the price. But if you're a chart guy like me, you can go back and back test that it does affect the price. Now, you know, now that we've covered the possible fundamental reason behind the recent overall market decline, let's cover a technical reason. And it's pretty simple, guys. I really just think it's a huge stop hunt to knock out those really weak hands and to hit all those stop losses before turning around and heading back up once the retrace is all the way complete. Um, you know, following the strong um, short-term rally, because that's really all it was, the cryptocurrency market was due for a pullback that we talked about yesterday. Now, Bitcoin reached its first strong resistance right here at about 4200 and after breaking out of that $4,000 psychological level that we were talking about and holding, ab and holding uh, uh, above it for days and days. Um, we thought we were find some uh, some some uh, stability within these four to five thousand dollar levels. So, you know, I think it's like I said, I think it's a simple stop run. Price had just gone up for like sixteen days here in the middle uh, without any type of real pullback. You can't consider these pullbacks. I mean, this is nothing. We needed to have that. Um, like ether, for example, thirty eight percent increase without any pullback. You know, lots of leverage longs piled up and stacked up. People FOMO'd right in. Um, then Bitcoin reached that first level of resistance. Now, it's simple, simple gravity, guys. What goes up must come down. You know, the object is to continue to make these higher highs and lower highs. You know, to continue to make this stairwell. Excuse me. I didn't mean to do that. Higher highs and higher lows. You know, continue to make the stairwell. Notice we did not break this area. We came down and retested this very zone that we had broken up previously through the 78, $3,700 region. Um, I expect Bitcoin to find some stability soon and head back up. Um, if it does fall, I think $3,000 is, is, is the next psychological level. We've been talking about that level for a very long time. We got down as low as I think 3065 or something like that, but never really touched that level, which I think is due if we do continue to head down because of these bullish sign, or bearish signs right here. Lots of profit was taken. Once we hit these levels, um, some traders will buy that dip and wait for that next leg. Some people will sit on the sidelines and see what these next few candles kind of show us. So, you know, as you can see, guys, if you see this, this almost perfect channel here, I should say, perfect bearish channel here heading down, you know, tap, 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 break, break up, and look what happened. Perfect. Pinpoint touch of not only this this level here, very strong level here, all this rejection, but pinpoint touch to the trend line and just about pinpoint touch to the level that was broken through. So this was the retrace that was needed. Will it end here? I'm not really convinced. Um, we've seen this little dead cat bounce right here on this next daily candle, but we did see it pinpoint touch the MA. So we'll see what happens with that. Kind of another news, guys, um, Coinbin, uh, it's a South Korean cryptocurrency exchange that actually took over the hack exchange. Ubit is filing for bankruptcy, which uh, will have some losses equating to over $26 million. not as big as the Quadriga, Sierra, Quadriga um, loss of, you know, $190 million, but uh, $26 million, guys. You know, Ubit was hacked in December of 2017, and about 20% of its users... Um, their cryptocurrency holdings were lost to the attackers. Um, it had also been the victim of hackers in uh, April of 2017, losing the equivalent of $35 million and around about 4,000 Bitcoin at the time. Now, Ubit filed for bankruptcy after the December attack, but controversially uh, reemerged as Coinbin a few months later, renamed the company. Just 20 days before filing for bankruptcy, Ubit obtained an insurance policy leading to claims of insurance fraud. Again, more bad news for cryptocurrency exchanges. Now, Ubit's parent company, Yapan, I'm going to say, uh, Yapan Corp, had taken out the policy from DB Insurance, a major South Korean firm. Now, DB Insurance denied a claim by Ubit, stating that the exchange had failed to disclose the information to its insurance underwriters. Now, Yapan Corp accused the insurance company of using the hack as an excuse not to cover the losses to its clients. With Bitcoin price just appearing to recover, guys, after a long crypto winter, um, the last thing I think the sector needs is more failed exchanges and controversy. Um, this news has been happening over and over again. Exchanges are 
you know, a lot of crazy things are happening and there's a lot of controversy behind it, whether it be true or not, something you need to look into and keep your eye on. However, you know, the failures, the hacks, the scandals, you know, in my eyes, they look set to continue because this space is still so unregulated. So guys, that's all we have for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed that breakdown. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll also have a training video out today. We're going to cover something very interesting, something I use a lot for more confluence. If you know what confluence is, look it up. It's big when you are trading, guys. So those of you that are brand new, guys, make sure you go in that description below. Click that link. It's the BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That's like YouTube. Um, you're going to get that free ebook. It's the Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide. You're also going to get that um, a lot of free information. There's something very special inside there for you guys. It's a message from Cody Sperber, the clever investor himself. Something you can't miss out on, guys. It's life-changing. He'll go over how we got into the market real quick, and he'll also go over some things that you got to hear, some more free offers and some more free value for everybody that takes the time to go over what we put together for you. So make sure you guys take advantage of that, whether you're new here or whether you have been here but just haven't clicked that link. There's some really good stuff inside, and we always change things up to make sure you guys are always getting more and more value for free right here on the channel. So click that link, guys, and we'll see you the next time on the next Bitcoin Breakdown.